Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, in this episode we play as a Jedi Knight to make light painting. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs and welcome to episode 93 of my photography, Lightroom and Photoshop tips. My name is Serge Skywalker and I'm a Jedi Knight. Just kidding, my name is Serge Ramelli, I'm a French photographer living in Paris and in today's episode we're going to talk about light painting. Before we talk about that, I just want to remind you that last week we played around with some landscape preset. Check it out, it was pretty awesome. This week I'm going to give you a little live introduction to light painting. Light painting is as close as a photographer will become to be a Jedi Knight. You have to play around with a pen and you're going to light your subject partially with a long exposure. I will show you everything in this episode, but before, uh, just a little reminder that I still have minus 40% on all my courses using the code 2014. So if you ever wanted to buy a course from me, now is the time. Thank you very much. It helps support all the free stuff that I do. So now let's get to it. Here is a introduction to light painting. May the force be with you. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, and uh, welcome to this very short introduction on light painting. Now, what is light painting? Well, the idea of light painting is that I'm going to take a photo that will be normally completely black and then I'm going to use this pen, which is like a little LED light, to partially light this beautiful shadow from Mr. Chouanet, a beautiful statue, which I will show you more in detail later on. So let's talk about the settings. The settings, you have to have a tripod and a camera, pretty easy. 50 millimeter, that's what I put on. You can have whatever lens you want. The key point is to shoot manual. And right now I am at 200 ISO, 9.0 and 15 seconds. The whole idea is that I'm gonna turn off all the light and I'm gonna, uh, oh, one thing what I did is I like auto focused. I already focused on, uh, on the statue, on, on her face and I'm at 9.0 in aperture, so I know that the whole statue is going to be sharp, okay? So the statue is going to be sharp, 15 seconds, 9.0 aperture, 200 ISO. The whole idea is I'm first going to test the text shot, and it's got to be black, and then we're going to do some light painting, okay? So um, I'm going to turn off all the light, and I'm going to take a shot, and I hope it's going to be pitch black. Okay, so I'm taking the shot and there is no need for the camera to uh, focus on anything because um, I've already done the focus. All I want to make sure that it's pitch black. That's all we want. Okay, and it's going to be 15 seconds at 9.0. So, uh, turn on the light, please. Okay, I'm looking at the photo. It's pitch black. It's perfect. Okay, so now we are ready to do some light painting. So... I'm, I'm going to turn off the light, he's going to turn off the light, I'm going to press on and then I'm going to start painting. So, here we go. I'm painting a little bit here on the side, going the other side, painting a little bit, a bit more on her face, and maybe a little bit on the foot, and maybe a little bit there. That's it. And uh, we have to wait for the 15 seconds, no light's going to come on, and we we'll see what happens. Okay, let's turn on the light, and let's check it out. Let's check it out. Ooh, I love it. I love it. Okay, so now I'm going to make a bit more on the top of her body, see what's going to happen. Okay, so let's turn on the light and let's go for another 15 seconds. Go ahead. All right, so rim light on the side, a little bit on the feet, rim light on the other side, a little bit on her face, and a little bit here. Okay, we wait 15 seconds. I mean, we got, I could do this for 30 seconds by putting at F16, but I find it's boring, it's too long. So let's see now. Okay, beautiful. I love what it, what it did. Okay, and I'll show you because we did some other tests. Okay, let's do one more try. So turn off the light. Okay, 15 seconds. I want to do this a little bit here. Uh, this, a little bit on her face, maybe a bit more here, and a bit more here. And now we wait, and see, the whole idea of this is that, uh, you know, an object which is partially laid is just, oh, that's beautiful, I love that. You know, it's coming out of the black. 
So you can do this with anybody. It's only cost very, it costs very little. You know, this is like a $30 pen. I will put the pen on the, uh, on the description of the video. Okay, thank you very much. And let, let me show you how I retouch this. Okay, so this is the roll files uh, straight out of the camera. And um, I did a few test shots before actually recording the tutorial that I want to show you guys. And that's first uh, my first test. So it is uh, 15 seconds at 6.3, 200 ISO. I shot this with a Canon 60 and the, the minimum ISO of the Canon 60 by default. You, you can, I think, increase it with uh, some um, parameters, but I didn't do that with ISO 200. But the idea is to have minimum 15 seconds so you can have the time. So anyways, that's one photo. That's another one, but this one is not good because I didn't on a face. Now, sometimes what happens is that as you paint, uh, here you can see on the right, uh, you can see like laser beams, you know. Uh, that's fine. It's easy to take out. That's another one. It's kind of cool, but um, let me put this away and press I. It's kind of cool. I kind of like this one. And then I try to uh, I try to put a little spot on on the background. It's just a pure black background. Don't like, I think it was too much on this one. Then I try to do it a bit less. You know, uh, this is, uh, yeah, all the strikes. Again, the strike. Now, that's not bad, but not the, the you know, it's really a trial and error process, you know. The um, the spot of the light is a bit too small. So then I, I stopped that. And uh, that's another try where I did a bit more on the floor. And this one, I did it a bit less. This one, I think I, I closed on the shutter speed, yeah. I'm at 9.0. That's when I started recording the tutorial. I'm at 9.0 because I thought it, it was too bright. And that's the three photo I took live uh, with you uh, on the tutorial. That's the first one, uh, not enough light. That's the second one. Uh, you can see uh, light streaks here, but all right. And that's the third one. So I think I'm going to take the second one. I like the second one the best. So I'm just going to develop it really fast. But you can see it's like good quality. You know, it's uh, coming out of the black. I'm just going to open up a bit some of the shadows. Uh, I'm not going to bring down the highlights on this one. I'm actually going to go the opposite. I might even bright up the whole photo. Uh, I'm going to crop it to take out the laser beam. Oh, I'm sorry. The, my crop tool is constrained. So I'm going to not do that. Okay. And I'm just want to take that out. Yeah. So we just focused on her, on this beautiful sculpture. And um, let's check the white point. Alt. Yeah, the white point is cool. It's already even burned a little bit and the black points that's all right now as far as noise is going it's a pretty dark photo so but there's not so much noise there's probably noise in the back but i don't care because what's really happening is what's important is there so i'm just going to go like you know 10 on the noise and maybe 90 on the sharpening per my low of 100 minus 10 see what happens and then i'm just going to do some masking remember the masking is that anything which is black is not going to get sharpened so we don't want I'm going to go like pretty bad on, on the masking, like 50. Okay, the result is a very sharp photo. And, uh, you know, and I just love the, uh, the you know, the, the whole idea here, you know, the little spot here on the floor. I mean, you can improve it. You know, I could probably, uh, you know, take a, a rival filter and um, invert the mask and add a, one more, sp a bit of more spot here on the floor. You know, that could be an idea. I'm going to feather the mask and make this a little bit bigger because uh, I kind of like what it does here. Anyways, but it's it's actually natural dodge and burn. You know, instead of with brushes, you do it for real. Okay, so that was the, uh, uh, that, that's a sculpture from Mr. Alain Chouinet. Just before we go, I want to show you his website. His website is alainchouinet.com. You have it there. He's an amazing sculpture. He's coming out real big in France. Uh, you can actually purchase directly from his website. He's got the best price on the website if you are into this type of art. I mean, the guy has uh, really, the details of his culture is amazing. Uh, there is, uh, every week there is galleries that want to work with him. It's pretty amazing, the success he's having. And um, he's sending the sculptures all over the world. I made a deal with him that if anybody who's watching this show is into art and wants to order some of his culture, well, you can just contact him on a contact page uh, by just clicking here, contact me, and just say you are from Surge or Photo Surge and uh, he will uh, he will give you the shipping cost for free. Some of this sculpture, uh, uh, you know, are like uh, 50 kilos. I don't know, that's 100 pound. Uh, so it's, you know, really heavy duty stuff. You, you got all the details on every sculpture. You can just click on one and you can see, you know, the size exactly. Uh, 
and uh, and the price. Uh, and uh, he's pretty cheap actually compared to all the big artists. Every sculpture is, I think, he only does seven of them of each, and some of them are already all sold out. So I wanted you know my followers to know if you're into this type of art, it's really amazing what he does. I'm a huge fan, and uh, I think. Uh, I didn't take these photos. He took the photos. I think I'm going to redo all these photos. Voila, that's Mr. Alain Chouinet's culture. Check out his work and uh, make it known. Thank you very much. And let's get back to the studio. Okay, guys, I hope you like this tutorial. It is so fun to do. Here is another portrait that I did using the exact same technique. It's really awesome and it can create some pretty amazing photography. So give it a try. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.